Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And there's kind of a unique scientific observational moment recently where Project Farm was working with ratcheting stubby screwdrivers. In particular, they were highlighting uh, the new LTT ratcheting stubby. So that's where their focus was, but they had these two in the running. You know, among others, PB Swiss, Snap-on, etc. But the Michael Pro and the SATA here, as far as I was concerned, were identical from the same factory all the way. I mean, everything seems, you know, pretty much identical about them. If you look really close, both have bit storage, but they ran the tests on both of them. And I would have thought, you know, they should be about identical. Well, it turns out they actually are really close. Both have the bit storage. The SATA, according to Project Farm, did not come with a, um, uh, a bit in the chamber here. It just came with six in the back. Uh, Michael Pro came with six plus one up here. Now, the, which bits can also have some to do with the weight? And that's the first place I thought was kind of interesting. They, they do weigh differently. Um, but as you can see, like this large number three Phillips, that probably weighs a ton on this SATA. Uh, in reality, the SATA that I've got here weighs 107 uh, grams, and I've got about 105 on this Michael Pro. But uh, Project Farm found 103 on the SATA and 105 on the Michael Pro. So the reverse, but still pretty close. Uh, country of origin was kind of interesting. Uh, Project Farm thought this one was made in China and this one was made in Taiwan. The packaging does say Taiwan for the Michael Pro. I don't have the packaging anymore for this thing. Um, so that would be either a, um, oh, I don't know, a, a designation according to maybe whatever the current political maps, however they're, they're drawn, or they might be coming from two different countries or there is a error somewhere. I don't know. Uh, as far as the, um, the arc swing, they do a test to go 360 degrees uh, using a 50 degree window. And the Michael Pro came in at 9.9 um, wiggles, I guess. And this one was 10 and a half wiggles. Really close. I think that's probably within the margin of error of the testing. Uh, back drag, Michael Pro was a 10 on the Project Farm test, and uh, the SATA was an 8. To me, that's one of those scientific moments. That's probably an indication of maybe the variability during manufacture. Maybe something's a little bit snugger. This was assembly line A, this was assembly line B, you know, or you've got somebody strong on one side and a little weaker on the other. Newer, older, more grease, less grease, who knows? But that's one of those things that that's, that's a, uh, a variability in two what I think are identical tools. Uh, the bit wobble, or the overall wobble, um, apparently uh, with the SATA here, they measured it out to be what they call a 13, and the Michael Pro is a 10. That got me wondering, maybe when these are coming off the assembly line, there's a few quick tests, and the slightly better ones, either better or maybe within a higher tolerance, um, actually measured, maybe there's a threshold, um, are sent to third-party sellers. And then the in-house SATA brand keeps all the rest of them. Um, so maybe you do get a slightly better performance because maybe something like this Michael Pro is like a high-graded SATA. They come off the line, and one's a little bit better than the other, so that goes to the reseller who might charge just a little bit more. Um, however, the Project Farm um, had the price of the uh, Michael Pro at 13 and the SATA at 16. I found it the reverse where the SATA was a little bit less, about a buck less than the Michael Pro, but... Anyway, you get the idea, and it's not unusual for companies, whether they're overseas companies or U.S. companies, to make a distinction in the performance of a product and which gets shipped overseas. Maybe it's the better products, maybe it's not. Um, anyway, or, or who gets them, you know, because maybe if you're making 10,000 of something and you can only sell under your brand 5,000 of them, you find other vendors, other dealers who will sell it under a different name. 
different branding, etc. But what else do we have? The uh, lock rotation, so if you put it in that center position and how much wiggle there is, this SATA here does have more wiggle and that is what Project Farm found as well. A little bit less on the Michael Pro. Um, in fact, I can compare them here, throw this in, and you can see if I lock this one or lock this one. So that's just another slight difference. Magnetic strength, uh, in this case you'll notice the Michael Pro wins most of the time. They found it to be the same in their test. I'm finding, you know, I should get 50-50 in all kinds of positions here. Um, so far I've only had one where the SATA pulled it out, the rest are Michael Pro. So I'm given a slight nod here. Um, and then the, uh, the, the bit strength, there was, that was a, a bit of a difference, but if you actually look at the numbers in terms of grams, it was pretty close. It was about a 50 gram difference. Um, but since so many of the uh, screwdrivers were all kind of bunched up in the middle, it didn't show up um, as being very close, even though it probably was. And then how did they rate them all? They gave the SATA a 6.7 and the, the uh, Michael Pro as a 6.8. So really close. So their test, if they were thinking these were two independent I, um, screwdrivers that, you know, they came up with pretty much the same as probably what they actually are within the tolerance of manufacture. So that was kind of neat to see because I've been playing with both of these trying to figure out what to do here. I kind of assumed that maybe we were headed towards one giant apex tool conglomerate that was going to make everything soon. But in reality, um, there might, even within one tool company, there might actually now be variability that is being um, basically spread out amongst different um, branding so-called manufacturers. And I'm glad they did that. Anyway, uh, kind of an interesting thing given all the drama going on. It's kind of fun to see the science. And with that, Doc out.